here I will show you my favorite way to use color together with dodging and burning. So let's get started. All right, so here's a shot in the, from the Dolomites. Perfect morning in my opinion. Some nice glowing fog from the ambient pre-dawn light. And yeah, the clouds above the mountain were really cool. They're like a blanket about a nice contrast compared to the rough peaks. So yeah, really cool. And what I want to do is I want to further brighten some parts here in the field, in the valley. And I will show you a way how I like to do it. So first of all, I could of course use just soft light. I like to use soft light for yeah, my dodging and burning. And then I pick a brush and then like 30% opacity and then I paint. But you see, I'm brightening. That's what I want. But at the same time, I'm desaturating. And I don't want that, as you see. It doesn't look that good. Of course, I have now a too high opacity. I could go down a bit, then it looks a bit better. But still, I don't want to lose color. So what I will do is, I will add another blank layer, use a soft light again, and I will pick a color, which is already there in the fields. Something like that. Maybe some color I like. When I paint on green, then I like to use a yellowish tone because it makes it creates a nice mixture in colors. And then we will make it really bright. So we're brightening again, but with color, so we're not losing too much sat saturation. And it's trial and error. It could probably look bad now as well, but we will see. So now again, we're brightening, but we're not losing that much color, as you see. Um, let me make the color a bit more saturated. Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. And now I will go down a bit more of the opacity and make it... Oh, I have a hard brush. That's I don't want that. Okay, a bit more. And now I will paint simply on the parts where I want to have a little more light hitting the hills and of course i don't have to paint with the same color all the time but here for demonstration purposes i will do that and also here in the foreground to make it a bit more brighter Oops. oh no not there down here maybe a bit here in the mountain maybe no not in the mountain a bit more here and I can of course add a mask and paint black to the mask so I reveal the adjustment in certain parts so it looks even more contrasty. All right, and let's turn this on and off. You see, it's 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 quite, I did it quite fast now, so no, no worries. When you're more precise and together with luminosity mask, it's even more precise then it looks even better but I still like it already. Simple step, in my opinion. Yeah. And always be careful that you don't add too much brightness to the shadows, because otherwise you will lose this three-dimensional look. So I like to repaint black in the shadows on my layer mask, so it's a bit more contrasty again, as you see. So yeah, that's the first tip, using color to dodge and burn. And in the second image, I'm actually doing the same. Not much of a difference, but I'm using a darker color to darken certain parts. So again, I will use the eyedropper, pick a color here, and then I will go down something like that. And we will use soft light blend mode again, low opacity, well not that low, something like 30. And now we will paint in the areas, areas which we want to be a little bit darker. 
and it's important when you paint in areas which are darker than the color which we are painting with then we're darkening when we're of course adding this color to a darker part then we are brightening again so when we dark want to darken even more scenes or tones here we have to add more darkness to the color something like that and when we turn this on and off that's really subtle as you see but it's adding saturation and at the same time it's darkening a little bit really cool and what i also want to do here i want to create another blank layer and now i want to brighten this water here but i don't want to simply add white to it i want to add a little bluish tone so it keeps this nice cool look so again soft light brush low opacity and now we're painting inside the water yeah quite sloppy now but still nice to look at when we add a layer mask we can paint black on the parts where we don't want the effect especially here okay let's turn this on and off you see we added some nice cool tint to the water and at the same time we are brightened it so really cool so we added a bit darker saturation to the highlights not much as you see but still it's a bit more saturated it's also quite yeah it's like i said usually you can use a luminosity mask with it and then you are uh, a bit more guided with your painting we can actually do that right now if you want uh, i have actions going on here so let's use a highlights luminosity mask you see uh, we save it and then we are a bit more guided we can paint here in this part but right now it doesn't matter but you get the idea i paint with a darker color to add more saturation and darken it a little bit and i paint with a bright saturated less saturated color to keep the color which was already there and brighten it at the same time okay so that's it with this shot